Okay, I've had a few students ask me about importing models into Unity, so we are going to uh, do that right now. So there's a few ways to import models. We are going to look for a basic table. Uh, the Unity Asset Store is your first and probably your best bet. You can search for something like table. Um, and a variety of things show up. A lot of these have little price tags associated with them. We're not interested in any of those. If you go down to pricing, you might need to open it up. Go down to free assets. We're looking at these assets. So for this example, I'm going to look at this table with chairs times three, um, which I've already downloaded once before because I had to do this video over. Um, so for this, we would do something like add to my assets. Sometimes it has a little video. If you click on add to my assets for something that you like, you will be able to download this. If you click on open in Unity, it will bring up a prompt. Usually it says, you know, allow to open, and then it will open it in your package manager, or it will open up a new package manager window, after which you can download and import. Um, and then you will have it sitting in your scene. So something like this table here will be sitting there. Uh, and those are usually going to be of file types that are going to be like FBX or o OBJ files, object files. Um, and those are going to be good for Unity. They'll import with no problem. However, uh, you can also use Polyhaven, which is a big up and comer. I think this is a great website to use different models. These are mostly free to use, and we're gonna grab this table here, this nice round table, quite similar to the one that we saw. However, we are not gonna be able to download this and import it directly like we do with the Unity Asset Store. Um, there are options up here with this little pink section of 1K, 2K, 4K, and 8K resolutions for this model, preferably um, you want to use something like 2K. I'm going to use 1K for the sake of argument. 1K is probably still fine. Don't make your uh, project too, too big. Certainly not for this class. The other option is that you have this little GLTF. It may also be a blend thing here. Blend, in order to be able to use Blender files, you'd have to download Blender, import this round wooden table 01 into Blender and then export as an FBX or a UFBX. With a GLTF file, we do also have another step, but I think this one is a little bit easier. It's kind of plug and play. You do it once, you'll be able to import whatever you want. So we're going to download this file here. You can download whatever it is that it is that you're looking at. Um, but we won't be able to go directly. You'll probably have to extract it too, but I've pre-extracted this. You won't be able to directly just grab everything and throw it into your project. It will not know what to do with it. So in order to make the project know what to do with what we are giving it, this GLTF file, there are a few options. Um, there is an official GLTF Unity importer I like this one better by Sissity. Uh, that's github.com slash Sissity, S-I-C-C-I-T-Y slash G-L-T-F utility. This is something that you go to releases on the side here. Download the zip. Uh, go ahead and extract that wherever it is that you extract things. Um, that's just up on the top here. So extract, extract all. Uh, and then for the GLTF utility, we're going to grab this GLTF utility dot dash master and bring it into our project. That's going to give us this whole folder with a bunch of stuff in it that's very scary looking that we don't have to touch at all because it just works from now on. Now this project, and only this project, if you start a new one you'll have to do uh, another import of this tool will be able to import GLTF files. So, you know what I said, that you couldn't just plug and play, you couldn't just grab these yet? Now you can. So we're gonna grab these and throw them into the models folder, and they import and work right away. So to summarize, 
Now this is actually a little shiny, so it might need a little bit of work. Um, but that's okay. You know, manipulate your textures and your materials as you see fit on these objects. Um, if you want to change the material, either the albedo or something like that, you will have to make a slight change. Um, if you open up your model here, click on this arrow, click on the material, and press Control and then D while holding down Control. Fix whatever it is that it wants you to fix, and then grab and drop this new material. Control D duplicates, but it also kind of grabs the material out of the model. So if we wanted to separate the meshes, if we wanted to separate any of these other pieces, we would use Control D to duplicate it and then drag it onto the table. So now, if I make changes to this table's color, you can see that they're reflected in the inspector here. Get a little bit closer. So now we can change these colors, no problem. So now you should be able to import from the Unity Asset Store, which is pretty plug and play. Remember, that puts you into the package manager, download and then import. You should be able to go to Polyhaven, grab one of these files as a GLTF, and download this tool, this GLTF utility, import it into your project so that those GLTFs can actually be pulled in afterwards. Don't do it before, do it after. So download and put Sysity's GLTF utility into your project. Make sure it looks quite a bit like this. Uh, GLTF utility, readmes, etc., etc. You don't have to touch any of these. And then import into some models folder to keep everything organized. And the GLTF will work just fine. Uh, so that's it. Email me with any questions if you're in my class. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're not in my class, hopefully this helped you. Uh, but you don't have my email, so... Uh, I guess make a comment or something. I don't know. Whatever YouTube people do.